Welcome back in guys, Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. Today's video, we're gonna be taking the Panasonic GH5 paired up with the 70 to 200 millimeter. I got a request recently with seeing if it could balance on the Zhiyun Weeble S. We're gonna attempt to balance this bad boy and give you guys a little bit of an example of how the footage works or looks coming up next. So a few tips or tricks right off the bat. We're gonna be removing the viewfinder little eyepiece. It's gonna give us some more flexibility on the back end when this guy is actually mounted from hitting this piece. Also, I do know that with my other pieces of glass, I actually have to go ahead and have my man Frodo pretty much all the way to the back end of our little adapting piece here. So you guys can see, and on the back end, I have got this thing mounted at five, so pretty far back there for most people, but that's going to counterbalance when we actually put this on. I'm gonna go ahead, fire this back on there, making sure to tighten this down and lock it. Make sure, make sure you do that. I've actually had my camera fall off, doing some gimbal shots and... See it again. Probably don't want that. Take this bad boy here. Lock her down. Okay, now we don't have it actually balanced yet, but I do know that I'll have the flip screen out. So when it comes to balancing, go ahead and have your camera set up exactly how you're gonna be shooting with it. And here we go. So I'm gonna start at the top, try to give you guys, starting with this guy right here. And okay, so as far as balancing goes, looks like it's a little front heavy. So we're gonna come to the side here and just, I mean a hair. And same for when balancing, you want your camera to be exactly set up. So if I was gonna be using an ND filter for shooting, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put that on there because the slightest bit of weight adjustment is really gonna throw it off. Okay, so at this point we have our kind of front to back and now we're going to do our side to side. So we're gonna come over here, unlock this and okay. Nothing too crazy, but it definitely needs to be moved a little bit. Okay. And we're going to come to the bottom here, and we're going to push it a little to the left. A little to the left. Oh, too much. Back. Still looks like it's going a little front heavy, so we're going to give it a little bit of a hair of a push. And... There we are. Okay, and our bottom one really doesn't take much of balancing. That one's kind of self-explanatory. Fire up the Zyun. Fire up our GH5. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and roll with some footage. Not that it's in focus or anything like that, but this will be here in just a second. I apologize about the audio, but visuals, this is the first time we are on the Zyun. And I'm not using autofocus, just using manual for this. So it's gonna be a little finicky. Now I do have lens stabilization on in regards to the camera. That's gonna give me more of a fighting chance with this particular setup. With this being a 70 to 200, it's going to be so touchy to get that super smooth footage. I'm going to wanna use as much stabilization as possible in regards to the lens plus the gimbal. Now I do have the ability with the GH5 to throw in some IBIS and even do some IBIS lock. But currently right now, what you guys are seeing and I, like I said, I apologize for the audio, is we are shooting ISO 400 on the Panasonic GH5. We have image stabilization on the lens. And then we also have the gimbal, but we are not using any IBIS in regards to the camera. Now, if I'm going to use IBIS in regards to the camera, we're gonna flick it to our next mode here. All right, so we're in our next mode. And this is gonna give us some IBIS from the camera plus the stabilization of the lens and I'll move around. And like I said, I apologize guys, manual focus on this. So bear with me. We're at that 70. And there's that footage. Go down with it and up. Shooting 24 frames per second as well. And then we'll come in. There we are. Okay. 
So other than that, that is really simply to show you guys that yes, the Zyun can handle this particular setup. Now, would I probably use this that much? Not really, I tend to love to do some more run and gun with this particular setup, but more so with the 24 to 105, I need something a little bit wider. And this is a super heavy lens, makes it a little bit front heavy, but the Zyun can handle it. And like I said, it's a run and gun kind of setup, or I love using some of the others. But this was more of a request in regards to how would this even work and look it does work i think the biggest disclaimer that i'm going to have to say and i'll try to give you guys an example of what's going on here is if i turn this around like this and i'm actually going to do like some panning up what i have is eventually this the kind of viewfinder is going to knock the back of the Zyun crane. Now, really the only thing we could do to kind of probably fix that would be to slide the camera forward, and then I'd probably need to put some kind of weight on the back end of the camera to make it kind of counterbalance, which is totally doable. It would just take some time, but that gives you guys, that's probably the biggest dilemma with this particular setup is that if you were trying to get those low shots or the undersling mode, it's really going to be somewhat of a nightmare. And let's flip this bad boy around. Gosh, hitting that double click. Bam, ooh, and we were still rolling. I'm gonna make a cut there for you guys. So that was a quick video. My opinions of how this particular setup would function with the Panasonic GH5 with the Weeble S. Hey guys, if you like the content I keep creating on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this particular video, go ahead and hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. And let's see if I could do anything silly with this thing. Do 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 do. All right, I do have it on a super super slow pan mode, and that was more because I like to use that for product uh, photography and videography shoots. But man, it is stupid slow. But then I love going like this. Double click.